One of the rather unknown features of iMessage is that if you're giving your iPhone to a kid or just using it as a secondary phone, you can still enable iMessage on it without having to insert a SIM on it. Here's how to do that. Before getting started, there are a couple of things you need to ensure. First, you need to have a working internet connection to be able to use iMessage. Since there will be no SIM card installed, make sure your iPhone is connected to a Wi-Fi network. Secondly, make sure that you've added an Apple ID to your iPhone or iPad. To check that, open the Settings app on your iPhone. You will be shown a message at the top that says, Add Account, in case you haven't. Tap on that to add your account. Alternatively, if you're already logged in, you will see your name at the top. Now, to enable iMessage on your iPhone or iPad, go to Settings, followed by Messages. Turn on the toggle next to iMessage. Now, tap on Send and Receive. In case no Apple ID is showing, tap on Use your Apple ID for iMessage. Select your Apple account, and you are good to go. And that's it. Except for the regular SMS, all other functionalities of iMessage work fine. You can send text messages, documents, videos, links, photos, etc. to other Apple users. In fact, you can even FaceTime with other iPhone users without having a phone number or SIM card. If you like this guide, make sure to follow and subscribe to Guiding Tech for more tutorials for your iPhone and other tech products. And make sure to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.